At the beginning of the chapter, when we listed six simple machines, one of the ones that we listed was a wedge. And some people say that a wedge shouldn't be categorized as a separate simple machine because it's a variation on an incline. And either way, whether you categorize it as its own simple machine or just a variation on an incline, that's not really important. The important thing is to understand how a wedge works. A wedge, the most common use of a wedge is for splitting a piece of wood. If you drive a wedge into the wood, the wedge is, is, is skinnier at the bottom and fatter at the top. And so you've got a log here. And you're trying to split this. Say you need to split it for some firewood. And when you drive the wedge down into the wood, because of the shape of the wedge, it's going to push the sides of the wood out and cause the wood to split. And because the wedge is fairly tall, the way I have it drawn here, it's oriented vertically. Because it's fairly tall compared to its width, you get a mechanical advantage. You could move the wedge down this far. That's a fairly large distance and it would only spread the wood out that much. So again there's this trade-off with the distance. We move it pretty far but we don't get much distance in the motion of the wood. But the result though is that the force is multiplied. We can calculate the mechanical advantage of the wedge based on the dimensions. Here's a picture with some dimensions drawn. Suppose the, the slanted part of the wedge right here is six inches long. So if we drive the wedge down six inches, it will go from a width right here at the tip of essentially zero to a width of two inches up at this point. So we move it six inches. We move it down into the wood six inches, but it only spreads the wood two inches. We can calculate the mechanical advantage. Six inches divided by two inches that obviously comes out to three. This particular wedge provides a mechanical advantage of three. So whatever downward force we're applying to the wedge, we're multiplying that force by a factor of three, the outward spreading force that actually causes the wood to split. So this wedge provides a mechanical advantage of three based on its dimensions.